Over the last couple of years, we've been renovating our 1974 double wide mobile home. Over the last couple of months, we've been secretly re-renovating our bedroom. We're ready to reveal it and share with you guys the renovation process. So this is how we began. The original bedroom was dated and dark. So we gutted everything started from scratch and we really liked the new bedroom that we made. But we ran into some problems with the new bedroom. There was a couple things we weren't happy with and some more obstacles that we ran into that we'll share later on in the video. But now today we're finally ready to reveal the finished bedroom. Okay guys, you ready for the big reveal? All right, we got a lot of changes happening in here. You guys can see it's a lot different than before. So let us take you on a tour and show you all the things we changed and all the things that we love about the new bedroom. Okay, the first part we're gonna show is over here. I know you guys wanna talk about the blue wall, but let's talk about the closets. This is where the most changes happened in our bedroom. Originally, we had two walls just like this, but we also had a beam up here. You can see we removed the beam. We opened this up to make it just more open feeling. And then we added new closet walls. We'll explain that in a sec, but we also added these curtains. And that's the opposite. Before we had curtains here and no curtains on the clothes sides. 
And the reason we did that is because we wanted to try out an open closet and not worry about curtains, but we kind of wanted to hide the computer. What we found that was in reality, we never closed the, the computer curtain. Yeah. And we kind of wish we had closet curtains. So a lot of you guys called us on that when we first did it and said we should have done it the other way. We listened, definitely the right choice. And we also painted this wall white again, even though we really loved the black. It just works better white now. The walls, totally different. Instead of being white walls, we decided to keep it like a wood tone. So these are a wood paneling with a really, really nice wood grain. And we also got rid of the four by four posts that we had and just went with some simple pine trim. And that just looks cleaner for our style. The other thing I want to point out is you guys have probably noticed is these walls, they kind of match our door. So it actually ties together pretty well. The curtains we chose, they're just cheap, basic curtains, but we tried to choose something that was kind of bright and playful and would play off the blues on the wall we're going to show you soon. So keep those blue triangles in mind. We have his and hers closets. So we kept our shelves that we had in here before which we love. But you guys might remember, and if you're new, you wouldn't know this, but our original closet walls, we built them a little, they were over a couple inches. So the closets were a little bit tight and the shelves didn't really fit in there. And we had to put it up on the baseboard trim and it was really kind of awkward and ugly. So when we rebuilt, rebuilt these walls, we moved them over almost two inches. So each Both closet sides, yep. is wider and those shelving units slide right in easily. I'm so happy that we were able to fix that. And our desk still fits in here. So everything just works. Works better. Sometimes little things can make a big difference. So you can see we love this and it's not a conventional closet, but we didn't want it conventional. We wanted to experiment with simplicity and design and we wanted something easy. So happy with how this side of the room turned out. I think we covered everything. This was literally the major, the biggest work in the room because we had to tear out all the closet framing, patch up all the drywall and rebuild these walls, but it came out awesome. So let's talk about this side of the room. This is the exciting side. We decided to redo this whole wall, which had tongue and groove boards, kind of shiplap style boards down here as a built in headboard. And it was just white up above. And we also had the nightstand things built in. For months and months, we were looking for something to put on our blank wall for art, and we couldn't find anything that we liked for our bedroom. So as part of this renovation, we decided to make the whole wall our art piece. So it would just be something fun to come into and bring some color into the room. And this was taken from the idea that we did in our living room of our accent wood wall. Basically cutting the grooves in the plywood and then using the spline, but instead of leaving it wood, we decided to paint mm -hmm. each section a different blue tone. Yeah, and we'll show, we actually have a video on how we make these plywood walls, and we'll link that in the description, so you yeah. guys can check out it's that video. It's really cool, we love that. We kept our hanging lights because we love them, and they still have the geometric style that goes well with the triangles on the wall, and our curtains and everything else. Yeah, I really love these. We like the wood toppers here and we built new side stands nightstands i love these now we just showed a video of us making these just recently so we'll also link that if you guys want to see that process but these are really cool little floating nightstands they are perfect we're loving them way better than the old setup yeah. it's just more open we like openness so that also plays off the wood tones and everything all over the room on this side of the room, nothing really changed. Everything is the way it was. I didn't touch this wall. We have an electric heater here. That's the heat for the bedroom. Stiebel Eltron uh, wall heater. And it's just a simple electric wall heater run by the thermostat. And on this wall, we did make some changes. So the first thing I'll show you is this thing that you guys might be wondering about. So our electric heater is over there. This is actually a heat recovery ventilator. It's basically a unit that's pulling fresh air from outside and blowing it into the house while taking the stale inside air and blowing it outside. So it's swapping the air and recovering some of that heat as it's swapping. So your 
you're not just losing all your heat. Yeah. Now, the reason we installed this was because we wanted to address some staleness problems that we had in here and also humidity problems. The humidity in our bedroom was always like upper so 70s. High. Upper 70s all the time. And we would have mustiness and mildew and condensation on the windows. It's just way too high for a house. And this bedroom is like on the north side and it doesn't get much sun and it's just like... Yeah. We wanted to bring fresh air into our bedroom. If you close the door, you got two people breathing all night and it just gets stale. We want fresh air. So we installed this unit. I'm not going to go into details about it because I'm not thrilled with it. I'll be honest. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not impressed with this unit, but it's installed and it's working. There's smaller and other options available. I probably would do something else in the future if I needed to, but we wanted to experiment and that is taking care of it. Our humidity has dropped down to under 50% all the time. It's usually in the lower 40s, so that's really good. Way better. So the other thing I wanted to talk about is we installed an interior storm window. I guess some people call it secondary glazing. And we did that to help retain heat and block road noise since this window faces the road. And it's just a simple uh, single pane interior storm window. We have our blinds behind it. So we kind of passed by this quickly, but this is Ashley's desk area. So that's her computer, mine's in the living room. And it's just a little computer nook that we made to have a place to have our computer. The only thing I would like to do is maybe add a shelf up there. I'm just afraid of putting holes in the wall because we just did the room, but mm -hmm. it's just a simple computer nook. I think that's it. We covered the whole room. We also put a new floor down. So another big thing we did in this room is we actually installed a brand new floor. This is the same floor that's in our living room and we actually like this one a lot better than the floor that was in here. Along with putting down a new floor, we also did new trim. We actually threw out all the old trim that was in our bedroom and we started over. So I decided I wanted a new profile because I feel like the trim we put all through the house, which was custom made by us, it feels chunky, chunkier than we'd like. So I wanted it to feel slimmer and I accomplished that by tapering a long taper from an eighth inch top all the way out to the three quarter inch thick bottom. I, I like this. This looks really clean, really modern, and it goes well with our bedroom style. It's amazing how a little tiny trim design change can change the feel of the room, because it really does. The window trim I actually left the same as it was before, and the door trim is the same, but the baseboard, we did that, and that's to keep the dust from collecting on it and to make it feel slimmer, like I said. So, happy with that. So I think we covered everything pretty thoroughly. We tried to cover every point of this room. I actually did forget to mention that we added two outlets to that wall over there too. Oh, yeah. That's another change we did. A lot of little changes like that that you might not notice. The, one of the reasons is because we never had enough outlets on that wall and I should have added more to begin with. The other reason is that when we added that air unit, I'll show that later. I'll have to show that in person, skip that. So anyway, we tried covering everything. The room is honestly like 10 times better. I love it a lot more. This is a lot more enjoyable to come into. It looks cool. Um, some of the paints aren't even. That bothers me when I'm laying in bed looking at it, but... Like shiny and dull. It didn't... It's not all the same. But that can be worked with. I like our stands. I like the lights still. Everything looks so clean. Yeah. I love the new closets without the beams. I like the beams, but I also like it without the beams. It was easier to trim out and it looks lighter and more open. It doesn't look so heavy. We're trying to get rid of the heaviness. I like the new curtains we picked out. The old bedroom was heavy. Yeah. That was a dark dungeon and it's amazing. <laughs> Don't just think about from this to the previous, but from this to the original. Yeah. When it was like all original 70s stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even though the carpet was in good shape. Yeah. But let's get back to the original point of why did this whole thing start? Um, and why did it take us so long to, to share it with you guys? There's a story behind this bedroom re-renovation. We had just, just about finished our home renovation and this bedroom was only a 
what, a year old. We were having, like I said, moisture problems in here. We had high humidity, we had mustiness, mildew. We were spending a lot of time in our bedroom because we were renovating our house. So we kept the door shut and this was our clean space. When you're living in an enclosed space like that, that moisture has nowhere to go and... We should have had our dehumidifier in here. Yeah. We were getting uh, mildew in our closets, under our bed. You know, you could smell it in the room. Yeah. And that was the first sign there was a problem. We tried cleaning that, cleaning everything, or, you know, making sure everything was good. But it came back big when we were working on the roof. When we were on our roof replacing it, we had a big rainstorm come through that just flooded the house. We had our roof off and the water was just pouring in and we couldn't do anything about it. We were just stuck. We should have had tarps handy. That was our mistake. Now, that water came into our bedroom and Ashley was on it trying to clean it up, do her best. We thought it was going to be okay, mm -hmm. but it wasn't because after that, I think the mold started growing and we had mold and mildew problems multiplied. We would try cleaning it and it would come back and... Well, Ashley noticed it in her closet, so I decided to pull the trim off and we found it behind the trim. That's what started the renovation, was just saying, what is going on with this mold? We found that there was moisture under the flooring and that moisture was causing mold in the flooring and in the walls around the trim. We had to pull up the floor, we had to pull out the wall to check for mold. There was mold on the drywall. That's why we decided to start over, because the floor had mold, the trim had mold, the drywall had mold, and we didn't want to risk just cleaning it and having it keep coming back. So we said, let's do this. We didn't have to take apart all the room, just the exterior wall over here. Mostly, yeah. Now we've decided that while we were renovating and fixing the mold problem, since we had to pull up the floor and do that wall, we might as well address the other issues that we've had with the room, like the small closets. So that's why we decided to pull the closets out, because if you're going to do the work, this is my chance to make it right and do it right. So I guess the part that you guys want to know is why we didn't share that. Um, actually, we shared it with some of our viewers, but we mostly kept it on the lowdown. And even with those viewers, we, we waited. We started this renovation like back in September. And we didn't want to share it because honestly, we were just a little bit stressed and embarrassed. Ashley and I were talking when this first happened, when I'm pulling off the trim, I wasn't even recording. And we both said, we are not showing this. Yeah. Now we try to be honest and open and transparent and show everything that's going on. But when you're in that moment where you're finding mold in your brand new bedroom, that's only a year old after you put all that work into it, it felt overwhelming. I didn't know what was ahead, and I honestly was afraid of putting it online because I thought the criticism would just add to the stress that we were feeling. And we know we would get criticism. There'd be a lot of I told you so's, it'd be a lot of you have to gut the whole house and do everything now, there'd be a lot of unnecessary uh, feedback that does, doesn't help us. Yeah. That is what held us back from sharing. We were honestly kind of just afraid to share. The reason that we feel comfortable now is because time has passed and it's... And it's all done. It's finished. <laughs> and it looks awesome and we feel better now. When you're in the moment, you don't want to share it not even knowing how it's going to pan out in the end. We just held back. And I did record it though. I recorded it because I said every time I don't record something, I regret it. So let me record it in case I want it. But yeah. we were literally afraid to share this and we said, no, let's not. Let's just do it and get it done. We don't have to share it. I'm glad we didn't have to take the ceiling down. We, we installed a vapor barrier, like a plastic sheeting, and that like really saved the ceiling drywall. From getting wet and moldy or falling down. It would have been destroyed. <laughs> we also did check the other bedrooms the, and we pulled trim. We looked in Maverick's room. And there wasn't any other mold. It was only this back bedroom seemed to have the biggest moisture problems. So I hope that makes sense of why we didn't want to share. It was just a stressful experience. And now it's over with and the stress is gone and it feels good and we're happy. So it's like, okay, you know, it's like that time heals all wounds type of thing. You just yeah. feel like, okay, we can share. It's not a big deal. But that's the story of what happened in a nutshell. So I hope you guys enjoyed the new bedroom tour. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them. I think we covered everything pretty well though.
Yeah, I think so. And we really appreciate you guys watching and supporting and encouraging us. We'll be back soon with another video. And until next time, take care. Bye. Okay, I told you guys I was going to talk about these outlets. I have an outlet here, I have an outlet over there. They're brand new because, let me show you what's inside here. <clears throat> inside this unit, you can see there's actually an outlet right down there that it plugs into. That was our original wall outlet. And I used that for this. And therefore, to maintain the code spacing for outlets, I had to add some extra ones. So that's the main reason and that we needed more. This was a very custom setup. It's not supposed to have an outlet there. We did this, like I said, extremely custom. We had to rewire it and reroute it. And I just wasn't happy with this unit and I had to do a lot of work. I had to re-silicone it in there. You can see black silicone in the bottom. I'm not even gonna talk about it. This thing was a disappointment for me. But the original wall outlet is right behind here. And uh, since it's disappeared, I had to add those two extras.